now it's a it's a whole different world because everything is so sleek and modern. So it's yeah. really hard, I think, for people to go backwards, especially because we live in this amazing era. Like if, if I grew up with movies like The Matrix and Jurassic Park and you know what we yeah. have now, yeah, I, I would find myself hard pressed to go back and watch. Well, I mean, Tron yeah. is a classic, but to, oh my when, you, when you've already seen The Matrix, do you go back and watch Tron? Do you get anything out of Tron? I mean, I wow. love Tron because wow. nothing look nothing looks the way Tron looks. So yeah. what's great about the original Tron is it's a movie that no other movie looks like Tron. So once you get into the computer world, it's like really wild to look at still. Oh man, you see these diamonds. Yeah, those like, I haven't oh. got those yet. Those discs, those those the the Disney Tron stuff and the black hole figures. Oh my gosh. I got to get those too. I, I'm telling you what. So it's interesting you bring up Tron because uh with my boys that is something like we, we just have we just have whole nights where I'm just like, look, we're going to go back. We're going to watch these old movies. Right. I'm going to introduce you to these movies. That's why my kids are super excited for Bill and Ted three. Because right. because like I've just I've sat down and I, I will say this a disclaimer to parents out there. Um, you have to remember sometimes when a movie is like such in the vernacular where it's like you've watched it on TV a lot of times that you forget if you open that DVD that you've had. The very first DVD I ever bought, Robert, was uh well, no, it wasn't. No, the very first DVD I bought was Tron. Actually, I bought it at my grocery store because I knew that we were getting a DVD player. And I was like, oh, there's Tron. Oh, my did, gosh. Did you buy the 20th anniversary two disc set? Yes, I did. My OK, if you have the 20th anniversary, I did the documentary on that disc. I directed mm. the making of Tron documentary. And it was in, in 2002. And that documentary was nominated for Best Documentary of the Year. It's great, at, man. At, the, uh, at the, what they used to have, the DVD Exclusive Awards. It lost to MASH, the documentary for MASH. But yeah, that, that was a fun project oh, to work on. Absolutely. I, and that was the first DVD that I ever bought. That's a great that. DVD, by the way. It is. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. And like kind of set the bar for me for DVDs like after that, right? Yeah, it, it's a uh, great disc. And so so I love that. But one of the other ones that I bought was Coming to America, right? Well, I literally sat on that thing, man, for 12, 13, 14 years, right? Like didn't open it. And then one night, <laughs> one night, me and the family are sitting around and uh, we're, we're eating dinner in the living room. We were going to watch a movie and I'm flipping through. And uh, it was like on TBS, uh, Coming to America was on. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's it's just started. And I'm like, it's coming to America. And I've watched that movie a million times. And I told the boys, I said, oh, we got to watch this. And I said, you know what? Actually, because, you know, you look at it on TV and it's going to be on there for three hours. With yeah. Commercials, you know, hour and a half movie. I said, you know, no, I got the DVD. I've never opened it. We're actually going to open up Coming to America tonight. And uh, once we get to the first commercial, we'll turn it off and we'll pop in the DVD. So we pop yeah. in the DVD and I'm sitting there with a plate full of food. I put the remote somewhere, didn't know where it was. All of a sudden, up pops like three women, topless. And I'm like, wait a second, hold on. And I'm looking for the for the remote <laughs> and everything else. And I'm like, I don't remember this. It's been like that long since I've seen this actual movie uh, in its uncut you know, state. And we just laughed. And finally, I just said, well, guys, there you go. Uh, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, but yeah, so I try, though, to do that. And it's funny because my son, um, my son, Landon, uh, he loves Tron. He loves Tron Legacy, and uh, and it was so funny because uh, it was like a couple of months ago. I was watching Tron Legacy, and he came in, he watched it with me, and I and he says, "Hey, can we watch the original Tron again?" And it had been a while since he had watched the original Tron, and I said, "Yeah, man." So I popped it in, and we start watching it, and for the first time, like he got that it was actually like for some reason in his mind he had seen it so young. You know, like when he first watched Tron, because Tron's been a part. And I got Tron toys and, you know, and everything else. And uh, and so the thing is, is like the first thing he said was was it was. Oh, there you go. Yes, this is sir. the Hot Toys uh, Tron uh, light cycle. Mm, yes. Although it doesn't have batteries in it, so it can't light up. But yeah. Oh, that's uh, nice. It's it's this is. Yeah, this is a great. I had to fix it. It it, uh, it was a little damaged. I had to fix it. So I oh. did. Yeah, so I've got I've got the, like the original light cycles over here, and uh, you know, and and then yeah, a couple of those, not like that, not Hot Toys size, but uh, but the thing is, is that he watched that original Tron, and like he realized for the first time that Tron Legacy was not a remake, that it was a sequel, <laughs> and he's like, wait a second, 
this goes, and he's like, yeah. And so then he started watching it. And I think he watched it like two or three times that week because he was rediscovering Tron and he actually loved it, even though it's, you know, it is what it is. Well, I think Tron now, when you go back and you watch Tron now, even though it's a little silly, it's awesome because it it really doesn't look like anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, aside from the clothes and the old video games in the movie, there's no other movie that looks like it when you go into that digital world. So it has this really cool yeah. look to it. And if you're a gamer, whether you know or you're into retro gaming or whatever, yeah. it's still it's it, there's something it, it does cast a spell. And um, it's it's really cool. I hope you know there's talk about doing a third one. I hope they do. That's a franchise they they that they should keep going. They should keep doing. For if sure, only because Daft Punk needs to keep. Oh, doing absolutely. More, more absolutely. soundtrack albums. Now you mentioned though that you worked on. on